I am the Nature Hacker, and this is your world. Today I want to talk about um, the question of whether or not to let the, the refugees enter our country, or you know, any countries in general. And um, you know, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick and tired of the media just, just really betraying the human race. You know, they are truly betraying the human race. They have it out to to ensnare every single person. I mean, they, there's no one who they're not trying to ensnare. They try to ensnare people in their words. And it's just, it's a total betrayal of the human race. And I just, I am sick of it. And I just, I cannot fucking believe what the media does and how much... How much they betray the entire human race. They don't even have favorites. They attack everyone. And not just and not just attack them in the way of trying to, you know, constructive criticism or whatever. That's investigative reporting. That's good. No, they try to just destroy people. They try to entrap people in their words. They try to betray everyone. I mean, every single one. And you know what? I am so sick and tired of it. And I really just wish I could make... Sorry, I am bashing my little bag of Himalayan sea salt here. I'm so freaking ticked off. I just... I wish I had a bigger platform to be able to just put these a-holes in their place. You know, I really, I really do. One day, one day, with you, I need you. I'm one man. I'm never going to start a corporation, okay? I'm never going to lord it over other people. I need you to follow my footsteps and to press forward. Everything I do is open source, naturehackerproducts.com. Always open source. I want to partner with you. I want to team up with you. Let's get some stuff rolling, okay? So I'm just one man, and I'm going to live as if I am one man. I'm not going to hire people. I'm not going to pay people to do things for me. We're going to do this. We're going to do teamwork. We're going to create grassroots, and we're going to take down the monopolists. And you know what? It's really it's another race, and I will get to that. Another race of person, not human. Um, but... Um, so... What are, so I just want to break down this argument of, oh, what, do you, what, I mean, they, they love asking this question because they know that any answer you give, unless you are freaking IQ 140 plus, you're not going to be able to answer this question correctly. So they know any answer you give will, is the wrong answer, okay? And it, I don't really know what they're looking for. I mean, they're discrediting you in half the population's eyes is probably what they're going for. I mean, Rand Paul's given the best answer so far. And he's still pandered to them. He's still bowed under pressure. <clears throat> but he's basically like, we should stop funding ISIS and the groups that are uh, creating the chaos in the Middle East. But then when you press further, well, what should we do about the situation now, like, we have to do something, the stupid reporter. Every single one of them has the same script, and they're being paid off, and they're being given the script by boss cops or aliens. Aliens are not from outer space. They are from Earth, just like us. They are another species of homo, homo boss cop. Um, and their average IQ, our average IQ is 100. My IQ is 140. Their average IQ is 150. So I really have to struggle to keep up with these these freaking gen genocidal beings. Okay, I really have to work my ass off to keep up with them, and uh, that pisses me off. That does piss me off. There's so many more of us than there are of them, though. So if we band together, grassroots, we can change things. All right. So anyway. They come up with this script of, oh, ask Olive and what they would do in the president in this situation because they know any answer they give will likely condemn them. Uh, so anyway, um, but then he panders and says, oh, well, you know, I guess we should take them, you know, if, you know, if we have to and, you know, it's pressing needs, so I guess, you know, we should, we should take some of them. And, you know, the, yeah, the media people are just like, yeah, we got you. We got you. We got you to say what we wanted you to say. Whether you say you will take them or you won't take them, they don't care. 
they want you to say one of those two because they know either way they've forced your hand. They have made you make a decision that you didn't want to make. That's that's the utter, oh, just disturbing, nasty, disgustingness of these globalists, monopolists, boss cops, is that they just want to get you to go against your morals. That's really all. They're just, they're evil motherfuckers, okay? They are evil. They are evil and they just hate humanity's free will. They hate humanity's morality. They want to force your hand to make decisions that you, um, to make different decisions than you know morally to make. And in this way, what they do is they, they give a, a false dichotomy. They say it's either you let them in or you prevent them from getting in. They, they make the argument focus on that so they know that um, they can force you into one of their options. They're forcing your hand into one of those options because you can't see outside of those options. All right, so with my 140 IQ and how I have experience countering boss copy and logic, how would I answer that question? Well, the question, it is simple. I mean, you just look at basic, basic human experience, okay? Now, the situation in these people boiling over out of their country into surrounding countries into, you know, nations around the world. They're boiling over into these nations, correct? There's high pressure there. There's high pressure from American bombings. There's high pressure from um, American funding of ISIS and other rebel groups there. Alright, so that's the heat. That is the heat that's causing the pot to boil, you know, and bubble over and stuff. So the, the boss cops are like, what would you do? Would you slam a lid on the... Okay, so the pot's boiling over, right? Okay, as president, would you slam a lid and try to hold it on the pot as hard as you can? Or would you just let it boil over and just spill everywhere? Which one would you do? Which one? Yeah, I want to hear. I want to hear which one you would do. Because either way, you're screwed. Yeah, we got you, motherfuckers. We are the monopolists. We are the boss cops. We got you right where we want you. Yeah. Which one would you do? So that is the boss cops. That is their mentality. They hate you. They want to see you die. They want to see you suffer. They want to see you mentally just get shitted upon and just smeared all over. That's what they care about. That's what they want for us. So, you know what? I would say, you know what? How about we do something revolutionary, okay? How about instead of trying to slam the lid on the pot or just allow it to boil over wherever. What if we actually turned off the heat? You know, how about let's just turn off the burner? Let's turn off the burner. How about that? You know, whether you slam the lid on or let it boil over, who gives a crap? Who gives a shit? You know? Nobody cares. It doesn't matter. You know, in cooking class, if they say a pot is boiling over, um, what what should you do? Slam the lid on it or just let it boil everywhere? It'd be like a retarded question. Like, what are you talking about? Just turn off the freaking heat. Doesn't matter what you do with the bubbles, you know? You're gonna have to clean it up after anyway, you know? Turn off the freaking heat, all right? That's the only answer to the question. Turn off the heat. America is the one applying the heat to the Middle East. We're bankrolling rebels who turn into the bad guys. We are giving Humvees to ISIS. We are aerial bombing people to make them pissed off and radicalize them. We are causing the chaos. We are the global incendiary force, all right? The CIA is behind all of this crap, man. It's just a really destructive organization or organization that, gosh, I don't even, it's just the right arm of the boss cops, man. They love the CIA. They use the CIA just to... I mean, we are we are a species under attack. We are like... We are... Um, the CIA are like the wolves and we are like the sheep. You know, they are used to call 
to call people to overthrow, to lead the flock straight, to do whatever. So, um, you know, it's just, just disgusting, and I hate their uh, false dichotomy logic. Turn off the freaking heat. doesn't matter what the crap you do with the bubbles, whether you f try to force a lid on or let it boil over everywhere. Both ways are retarded and just stupid. What you need to do is turn off the heat. Okay. Turn off the heat. And then it boils out, boil, the boiling goes down and all the foam returns to the pot and just goes back to being liquid again. Okay. So that's what we need to do in the Middle East. And, um, Thanks for watching. I am the Nature Hacker. Go and do work.